morning. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Matt, and we used to work at The Morning Show way back in the day. Good morning. I'm Matt Cushing. It is January 3rd, 2007, and Jen is still on vacation. Jen. Anyway. We're actually quarantined together because we're recent newlyweds. Today's school spirit theme is Wacky Wednesday, going crazy for kindness. High school students in New York City would have taken the Regents exams in June that were canceled will not need those exams to graduate, the state announced yesterday. To qualify, the student must pass the Regents course. If they do not pass the course, then they will have to return for summer instruction and will get their diploma in August. The student may also be exempt if they previously gained course credit but need to retake the test for a passing score. I'm Bria Cassettmeyer. In the sum class of 2018. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. 2016, and I have a few quick travel tips for anybody who might be studying abroad or doing some of their own traveling once this whole pandemic is over, obviously, and it's safely to do so. So my first tip would be to make sure that you have a phone that works. I personally would bring my own phone with me and then I would go to a store like a Verizon or the equivalent there um, and I would then just switch out my SIM card which is a really easy process. They know what to do. Um, it takes like three seconds and once you pick out your plan they'll walk you through it. You'll be all set and able to send text which is very important obviously. Um, and my next tip would be to check your credit cards. Sometimes the credit card may not be great for the country you're going to. Um, that's happened to me a few times and I've had to get a travel credit card, um, which is also a, a great way to earn points too as well if you're looking for one of those kinds of options. Um, but then it's also important that you let the banks know that you'll be traveling. Um, and also another money tip, don't get money out at the airport because you're gonna be paying way too much. Um, the exchange rates will not be good for you so um, make sure you're careful about that. I would also recommend taking any pictures of important documents, definitely your passport, definitely your license, anything else. Um, just it's good to have copies of those as well. I would put copies in your checked luggage. I would always also have copies on you. Um, always good to have all of that taken care of so you don't have to worry about it. And um, my last tip is to make sure that you write down any serial numbers on your electronics. Um, unfortunately, one of the only problems my friends faced abroad was things getting stolen. So make sure that you are watching your stuff and um, just write down your serial numbers just in case. So I have just a few quick tips, but I hope those were helpful um, and I hope everyone does well. Thank you so much. Good morning. Today we can expect a high of 55 degrees with showers in the morning and the possibility of more showers in the evening. Tomorrow looks like to be the coolest day of the week with temperatures in the low 40s. Temperatures are expected to rebound during the weekend. The 2029 Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame has been unveiled and it's a transcendent one, headlined by Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, and Kevin Garnett. In addition to those NBA legends, WNBA champion and 10-time All-Star Tamika Catchings will also be enshrined. Also joining the classes, former Houston Rockets coach Rudy Tomjanovich, former collegiate coach Eddie Sutton, Baylor women's basketball coach Kim Mulkey, former women's basketball coach Barbara Stevens, and former FIBA and IOC executive Patrick Bauman. Section 3 Athletics, along with New York State, have postponed spring sports until April 29th. The hope is to get any season in if the students should return to school. Oh. WrestleMania concluded this weekend in an empty stadium uh, with the big winner, Drew McIntyre, defeating the Beast to claim the WWE title. From Kai and myself here at the house, stay home, stay safe, wash your hands. Hello, ESM High School. It's Mrs. Trevison and Daniel here to say, we don't know about all of you, but... Daniel's mom does better with a schedule, and being at work is good for her. I am missing my office, and the hallways, and the classroom, and yes, even the cafeteria at Central High School. So much so, that things are getting pretty wacky around the Trevison household. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Hey, pajamas aren't school appropriate. Hey, there's no playing in ISS. Mom, you're not at school. 
Okay, it's time to get cleaned up, push in your chairs, get your trash in the trash can, put away your trays. Have a great rest of your day. Mom, you're not at school. Hey kids, no feet on the furniture. We're not at home. Mom, I had enough of this. I'm calling this Travelino. Well, there you have it. My daughter is going to call Mr. Avellino. In all honesty, it's not just the hallways I miss. I miss all of you. I miss all of your teachers and everyone who makes our high school what it is. I miss everyone. The people are what gives our high school life. Laughter, tears, smiles, voices, a heartbeat. People are the lifeblood of school buildings. We hope that we can return sooner than later but for now, our high school has grown a little bit. It's expanded to exist wherever you are. And all our laughter, tears, excitement, frustration, fear, and hope fill these now extended walls. I know there are a lot of unknowns right now, so I want to remind you of some things I do know. I know that the best people make up the student body at ESM Central High School. I know that you are capable of amazing things. I know that you are bright. I know that you are stronger than you know. I know that this situation will grant you perspective more powerful than is yet understood. I know that you are busy with things beyond school. I know that balancing all of the things going on in our community with the things going on at home and the things coming from school can be difficult. But I also know you are resilient and will rise out of all of this, capable of so much more. The truth of this experience is that it is absolutely new for all of us, for you as students, for your teachers, for your families, and your friends. We are all going through this for the first time together. So as we continue through this week and into the future, let's continue to show kindness Let's do what we can each day to make the world and our little bit of the world a little better with the things we can do, big and small. Keep posting your pictures as you participate in the events of Kindness Spirit Week. We all enjoy seeing your wonderful faces. I look forward to seeing you soon. All of my best to you and your families until we see each other again. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone.